I'm in this fabulous showroom here in Tiverton in Devon on an XYZ machine tools. This is where they keep a lot of their stock machines. If you buy one of their machines, this is where it's likely to come from. I'm here specifically today to look at this XL780. This is a three meter gap bed lathe and it's got a swing over the bed of 780 mil. But one of the reasons this machine was introduced is because of the through ball being 160 millimeters on a slightly smaller machine with a smaller swing but maintaining a higher RPM when you're turning. So it's got 160 mil through ball, would you believe? One of the other features on this machine that we're gonna point out here is the door. Now this is quite unique in a sense. When you've got a flatbed lathe, you've often got a big door, you, you've got a big door to lift to get into the machine is difficult. XYZ have addressed all that with this new door. Now you can see you've got light, you can see what's happening inside, but if I want to uh, open this door, hit that button, pull that out. I can then move the door so I can access the machine. I can set components. I can put tools into my tool post. I can do everything that I might need to do uh, on, a, on a flatbed lathe like this. And when I close it, I've closed it to position. Now I can continue with my turning function. Another feature, I'm gonna to move to the back here, tail stop, a critical part of a lathe like this, especially if you're doing long shaft work. You can use the drag and drop method to pull the tail stock along, but you can also, what I really like, is use this air purge on this tail stock. So if I turn the tail stock on with a, with a couple of hands, I can push the tail stock or I can pull it into a position. So therefore, you're gonna need a tail stock on a big machine like this. You're gonna be doing shaft works and you're gonna to need to move it a lot. And you don't wanna overstretch yourself. Also, when we talk about swarf, cutting metal, removing metal, you've got two swarf trays here where the swarf will fall into the, uh, into the bottom and you can move them out and then you can clear your swarf. Very easy to do. Into the machine. Let's talk about the tool post on this because with this XYZ machine, you get a four station auto indexing tool post. You can also have an eight station one that can be auto indexing or you can opt for just a manual tool post. But it gives you that flexibility with the auto indexing to be able to program it in cycle. We did speak about the through bore of the uh, spindle. I'll come back onto the power and performance in a minute. I wanna to touch now on the control of this machine. This machine has a Siemens 828D control. It's got the shop turn software, which is uh, very heavily focused on user-friendly compatibility. It means you've got good graphics. It means it can simulate. It means if you don't know much about CNC programming, it's very easy to pick up. So you may well be a manual turner currently, but you want to learn about CNC turning. This is a very good control to start on XYZ do training here too. But you might not want CNC, you might want manual. And if you do, you can still use the XL780 with the manual handles here. It, it doesn't make a difference whether you're looking for at traditional turning or CNC turning. You can use this machine in either way. XYZ had a lot of success in the nuclear, the oil and the gas markets with longer shafts, uh, turning threaded pipes where you need to bury 160 mil up the spindle bore, but you need maybe a slightly smaller swing over bed so you can tackle other work as well. Before we conclude, I'm gonna to touch on a few other points on the specs. Already said 780 mil swing, cross slide, swing over the cross slide, 535. Three meters between the centers, but a cutting length of 2.9 meters. 160 mil spindle bore, big highlight, as we've already said, on an A211 spindle nose. Spindle power, 40 horsepower, 30 kilowatts on this machine. A two-step high and low gearbox you can go between 20 and 1300 RPM. So you've got two ranges, and we spoke earlier about the higher RPM, you've got that on this machine as well. Now, what I'd like to almost conclude on before we see the machine cutting is the weight of this machine. It's 8.6 tons. XYZ spend a lot of time researching, getting the right machine, getting the right weight, getting the right stability, because you're gonna be tackling harder materials on this and, and taking big, chunky cuts. And you can do that with this XL780. So we're going to see the machine in action now. I'm going to press cycle start. Before I do that, if you want to know more, you need to go to xyzmachinetools.com.